Oh, we're thrilled with the, the opportunities that the Victorian Government's announcement brings. It's great to see that one of the key priorities of the, the Mali Regional Partnership is, is being delivered. There's an enormous amount of opportunity in the cross-border space and we're very keen to get started as soon as we can to resolve issues for communities on both sides of the Murray River. The cross-border commissioner would help us immensely. Us being in a commercial company would look singular, but he would really be the conduit to virtually get both sides going and get this project up and going a lot earlier. The support to be provided by the Cross-Border Commissioner is critical in ensuring that all communities, families, businesses can get the support in a timely way to address issues that otherwise can be dragged out through legislation and administration. In relation to the skills demand profile, That'll be a tool that the training providers and the schools will be able to use to ensure that they, they match their training to the pipeline of jobs that we have available and we've identified out of the Skills Commission. So I think it, it, it is great that we've got this tool that actually identifies jobs that are going to be there, not train for jobs that are not available. So the Skills Demand Profile has been a vital tool in assisting Sunny TAFE align its training delivery with the demands of the community and industry. The profile identified the key areas of growth and skill demand in the region and Sunny Tafe is using that information to alter and tailor its delivery so that we are well placed to meet those needs going into the future. So it'll mean a huge, make a huge difference to our community. We're redoing the uh, basketball stadium because the termites have um, destroyed the floor. The netballers will have change rooms, uh, a new toilet facilities. The community will grab a, get a gymnasium uh, and the social rooms will be doubled in size. really pleased to be here talking about the recent funding announcement for the Murray River Adventure Trail. Uh, this funding will enable this game-changing project to advance through doing the planning and design work um, to really bring to life the, the next four stages of the trail as well as the four loop experiences, um, generating about 350 kilometres of trail um, and the aim is to obviously bring this project to fruition across the whole Murray, um, bringing in about 100,000 new visitors, um, usage by about 200,000 locals, and really driving economic outcomes for our communities. We're really pleased to see the recent announcement from the state government to support the Mallee Regional Innovation Centre. That's going to allow us to establish an office in Mildura so that we can work closely with other agencies contributing to innovation across the Mallee. What we're going to do is to put uh, university researchers together with uh, farmers, natural resource managers and others across the Mallee business community to work on some significant uh, innovation challenges. In the first instance, we're going to focus on technology innovation uh, in three areas, in supporting the growth of horticulture across the region, um, in, um, in supporting environmental management across the region, and also in uh, the, uh, the water and energy systems for the region. And then we'll look to catalyze investment in significant research and development efforts to support innovation in those areas. What we're trying to do really is, is to build community and we're doing that through food. So we have, um, while we're trying to re regenerate land and be growing diverse crops using regenerative farming practices, at the same time we're seeing these incredible social outcomes um, both within the Burundian community that uh, we, we work with but also you know, much, much more broadly among the whole community here in the region. Yeah, they all thinking to grow their background food, which is yeah makes no feel we are missing back at home. Yes. Already we taste, we have a different taste because the, when you eat fresh from a fresh garden, it's totally tasty from a supermarket fridge. One 
of the other projects that the Mallee Regional Partnership have been working on is small towns, big difference. We acknowledge that there's all sorts of sizes and all sorts of varieties of communities in our patch. So we're looking at a project that will enable these areas to engage and access funding. So small towns, big difference. We're looking to bring groups together collectively so that we can have a funds pool that they can access and do projects in their town for things that they know are important. So in a way, locals making decisions about things that matter to them. It's um, opportune that Pick My Project has come along um, as a budget announcement because it really matches small town big difference. Imagine silo art here in Witchy Proof. Wow! It's been something we've thought about for a long time. It's going to bring the tourists in. We need that money in our town. We need outside money. It's just going to make the town vibrant. Just seeing people stop, spend money in some of our shops. You know, just perfect, absolutely perfect. Fingers crossed. Well, with them all working there over the years, it, it sort of, uh, it kept the place going and, and uh, it was great, yeah, it's for them all to have somewhere to work when they got, came home from school, yeah. With that connection to the silos being quite strong for, um, well, with our father of course, but also um, myself and my six brothers, we've had you know, very close contact with the silo and to have something, a, a piece of artwork that uh, brings some renewed life back to the, uh, to the facility itself um, would be great, would be fantastic really. <laughs>